on this first turtle. Balmain is going to have a better chance with the double retrieve because of the ultimate that the lethal counter can have, but let's see what Albert can do with it. Albert has the Abyssal Strike as well. He goes in, steals the turtle away, but will fall to the hands of Kyrie for the airstrike pop and boots. Dealing the damage onto Clay. But I do think in the early game, they have more chances to make plays happen. And now without the Matilda, as Eterna mentioned, one of the main problems for them, I feel like they do have a chance and the composition has possibilities to make it work. So it's not a completely biased prediction. Full disclaimer here, okay? Absolutely, obviously, right? And, and for wait, me, Onyx Esports, I think... Oh, wait a minute, they're gonna go for this. Keyboy has the part of nature. That's gonna be the feather airstrike as well. Keyboy is timed down. By that feather airstrike, good engage, but Vin is going to be taken low. Oh my god, one Whoa, hit away. Oh my god. Spawn five seconds now, rather, and it's unfortunate right now because Araki Hoshi, Albert, he is going to have a better time in terms of that guiding wind, right? The guiding wind is going to be able to allow him to disengage if he goes in too aggressively. Uh -oh. But in the top side here, CW is going to get so bullied as now both teams are going to set up for this next turtle. Okay, Kyrie going to be the target for RRQ. Albert jumping in as well. Kyrie still able to maneuver out of there. That's going to be the wild charge connecting onto the side uh -huh. of Finn. Albert finds the turtle. Onik now forced to disengage. R7 chasing Kyrie down. Very oh. low, taken out by Finn. It's a two for zero for RRQ. They have to be careful of Sans here. CW takes a bit of damage here. If you take a look at his items, for the most part, no defensive options just yet. Oh, Vin has the guy win, gets out there. Albert jumps in onto Sans. Looking for that business try onto CW! Oh. But it's gonna be Albert who falls. It's a one for one. Gold laner for jungler. Might be able to find that opportunity today. As once again, very huge pressure from Keyboy opening up the map, giving information as well. 18 seconds left on the next turtle to spawn. And right now, Keyboy actually oh, might wow. get punished here. Oh, one more hit. Vin takes it. Wow, the calculation on that fadeaway. That's perfect timing as well. CW, 1v1 against Skylar. Goes in for the oh. side, goes down. Skylar, oh, woo. Oh, the goal there. Oh, oh. Hey. Flies up to the top side to pick up that kill. Wow, that 1v1 was intense, but you know, it's never a 1v1. Boots though, gonna be bursted down. Albert misplaced it, but some strike. Boots was able to get out of that one. Now, Kyrie looking for a steal, but it's giving the turtle reset it here by RRQ. They're looking for Onik right now. Oh! Wow! All the way for the Philippines, picks up a double kill. My goodness. Onik Esports finding two for one there. Clump up and backline, even though he has been taken down twice. But once again, both teams are going to re-engage onto this turtle. Circle Eagle onto Kyrie, zoning him out. It's going to be the wild charge coming oh. in. It's Kyrie gets the lethal counter. Albert going to be taken down as well. R7 looking for the play, zoning the other members away. That's Keyboy taken down. Boost with the volley time went onto Skyler as he's going to get this down. R7 picks up a double, looking for another RRQ. They in this top side, helping CW to farm back up to the gold that he needs. Keyboy here is gaining some information. Hovering around for a possible play to happen. RRQ Hoshi now. Ooh, R7 alone, but it seems that Onik will back away and take this turret for free. They require some map control. They lost one tower in the bottom and they get compensation in the top side. But the bottom side jungle though, RRQ Hoshi making a play of their own. With a counter by Kyrie, but it's gonna be melted down by Skylar. Albert comes in as well. Kyrie, one HP gonna be taken down. Boots. Running away, Blazing Duet baited out. Boots coming back in for the re-engage. Some damage because it's mostly skill shots. And R7 is very sustainable now. RRQ using this actually to go for that Lord. 975 gold lead building to 1k now. Onyx Esports looking for that opening. Kyrie can definitely go for that steal. R7 now zoning the other members away once again. Pops the Consecration. He's just doing so much for RRQ right now. The captain of RRQ. Real-time win probability as well here, presented to you by Samsung Galaxy A-Series, Arashi. NOD for Sans right here, respecting the possibility for R7 to just be an unkillable pillar in the front line. Lord is getting very low, but Sans makes the aggressive play happen. Watch for Albert. Albert looking for the secure. Kyrie gonna be taken down before Albert even picks it off. That's the, that's the kill over. Skyler is out, one HP, boots. Now, the oh. chase comes in. Skyler with the BMI still getting out two for one over to RRQ. Making a three for one with the Lord. Onyx Esports in disarray. Falling far, far behind now is RRQ. If we get to that late stage of the game, or just, no, we don't need to talk about that. Let's talk about the next few seconds here. Does RRQ still win in these team fights? How does Onyx win? Onyx wins by initially surviving the pickoff and then out-sustaining the damage from RRQ Hoshi. Yes, it's easier said than done, but 
unlike Arakehoshi, they don't require combos to win the fights. Blazing Duets and the like are not available for Ornic Esports, so pure damage, pure basic attack damage from CW and spammable spells from Sans will mean that the longer the fight goes, the more damage is coming in, but Vin goes in. Oh, Vin's trying to zone them away right now. The Lord's taking low, but that's going to be Vin losing immortality. Blazing him into the back line right now. Skyler is going to be dealing so much damage. Sans picks up a kill onto Vin. R7's immortality falls. R7 able to back off. Still having that passive healing up. CW goes in. One more shot over Skyler. Clay blocks it out. One more. Oh my oh. goodness. Skyler gets that one HP. Alfred jumps in with the damage. Now onto Boots. R7 also still regenning. Onik Sans popping that black shoes. Getting the sustainability back up to almost full HP. But the Feather Strike comes in. Cancelled up by the barrier. Boots jumps into the falling side. Move is going to be taken down by RRQ. It's a 4v3. Oh my god. CW falls. Alfred looking for the damage once again. Kyrie fights the turtle. Fights the Lord. My bad. Albert still going to be able to find the kill though. It's Falling Star Moon charged by Boots, looking for R7 here, but the Feather Air Strike will zone them away. Keyboy needs to be careful, pops in a wild charge, will get melted down. R7 jumps in, Skyler with a blazing duet, will not be able to fight anyone. R7 and Vin in the midst of it all, Sans dealing damage once again. Vin gonna be taken out by Kyrie. One for zero on Esports. Discipline, they're gonna lose more than they bargained for. They're both scaled up in the late game right now. 3k advantage for RRQ. Look at that, those CW. You can chunk half HP, but without any follow-up. Skylar coming to the do it. He's so low, though. The damage, the damage, the snipe from CW. The last thing is massive. And now the damage comes through once again. It's another kill over. R7 gets taken out. Taken back by Onyx Esports. Just on the back of Kyrie oh, and CW. Die. That's the guiding win. Bringing Clay to safety. Albert in the midst of it all, taking a whole lot of damage. Immortality bot now, gonna be able. No, 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 he doesn't have the winner traction. Clay gonna be dove in, surviving with a two damage there. Keyboy falls. Two seconds on Skyler. CW taking a turret for the rest of the members to back off. On for RRQ, it's now on Esports who holds it. But like we mentioned before, in the late stage, the goalie won't matter. Vin opened up the map already. RRQ have information on how low the Lord is, but I don't think they're going to be there in time. Albert though, still coming in. Kyrie gets it. Albert knocked up. Albert with a winner's truncheon. Still able to buy some time. Skylar backs up with the BMI. CW with the true damage. Takes Albert down. Play with the guiding wind. Trying oh. to run away. Wings by wings. Out of safety. Boots chasing him down. But he will be melted by Skylar once again in the mid lane. Win will fall to CW. The high ground to defend. But with so much damage coming in from CW, they need to find a solution to go into the back line and take him out. It's very difficult because Skylar is not pressured by CW on that Leslie. Look at that damage! 1,700 true damage on that Leslie and the Araki Hoshi. They are forced to back away from their turret on the esports. Make the final play! CW with a shutdown there. They're going for the base. Base turn number one taken down in the mid lane. Top side as well. Bottom side as well. Three minute ways pushed in. RRQ will have to pull off a miracle. But their air strike coming in again. It's has to be boost jumping into the back lines. The missile strike connecting again. It's a blazing new end. Comes in his own other members away. The Lord's coming in. Unstoppable big time with CW. Master once again. Vin goes in. But it's a double kill. Onik oh, Esports.